Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dipain from Pune and you are watching the part 2 of Leoncino 500 launch. So this part covers the features and specifications of the bike. Uh, a test ride is not yet available so I have not been able to review that. Maybe I will have a third video for it. Apart from that, if you missed the first video, I will leave a link to the video in the description and you can have a look which covers the launch event of Pune at AB Automotive and some slideshows and uh, pictures about it and the exhaust note of the bike too. So let's begin. Beginning with the engine, it is an inline two cylinder DOHC liquid cooled eight valve engine. Power output is 47.5 PS and torque is 46 Nm. So this is almost a similar engine or the same engine from 502 which has worked really well. And uh, again, Leoncino has very good reviews online from international uh, counterparts. It is lighter too, so compared to the 502, so it will have a, a good power to weight ratio. And uh, gearbox, gearbox should be as notchy as 502 because I've ridden the 502 and I really loved the gearbox from that. So uh, expecting very good things from this one too. Coming to the headlights and tail lights and all the telltale ones. So all in this bike are LED. The projector at the low beam is also an LED. High beam is also LED. All four indicators are LED. Even the tail lamp and parking lights are LED ones. Uh, let me try and show you how the brake light works. I absolutely love the tail end finish. The bike looks uh, Really nice from the rear end, lot of expectations from it. The saddle height of the seat is uh, 795 mm and I can sit with my uh, legs flat on the floor. I don't have to tiptoe and I get a good grip around, uh, we can give a good grip around the tank too. It's quite uh, slim enough, uh, almost close to my, similar to my Dominar. So this works really well. The fuel tank capacity is 13.5 liters. Uh, as usual, it does not have any reserve etc. because uh, I guess everyone knows this is an FI engine. Uh, down here is our radiator. Uh, no guard on it, uh, but good fit and finish. And you can fill the coolant from here. The suspension up front is a UST, 50mm UST, upside down forks. You also get a uh, dual discs 320mm each and the ABS is standard on all the bikes and it is switchable and the switch is right here. I really love the branding on the bike. Look at the scripts with the Benelli name embossed on it. Really nice looking and very grippy. Look at this handlebar with the detailing of the names, details etc. We have similar badges on the bike to the right of it. And let me show you the engine 2. Engine 2 has got nice detailing, the names written really nice. Even the exhaust, let me show you the exhaust 2. Exhaust 2 gets a nice detailing. All this really feels uh, quite premium. Coming to the rear suspension, it is adjustable for rebound at from this knob. And you can make your ride soft or hard based on the settings from here. So again a good feature. The handlebar seems to be the widest of uh, in the category. I mean I've ridden the 300, 600 everything but it seems to be the widest one and it gives a good grip, a good you know. Uh, you would be able to easily maneuver the bike in the city. You also sit quite upright and again in traffic conditions you know all this is going to really help ride the bike with ease. The pillion seat gets a dual set of grab rails, one each on both the sides. There is no arrangement for top rack or saddle stay as of now, but uh, the rear seat itself with the combination is going to do the job really well. There are two color options available. This one is the steel gray and another one is the Leoncino red. Both look really nice. Speaking about both the seats, for the rider as well as the pillion. Both are comfortable as of now but we'll share more once I do a test ride.
the bike does not come with a rear mud guard uh, it's quite short but they've given a decent tire hugger which you know similar one we have already seen on the TRK now how does this perform we will be able to tell only after we take a test ride in the rains not before that but the hugger does look really strong and decent the weight of the bike is close to 207 kgs which is almost 30 kgs lighter than the current bike that i use the the 600i it's heavier than the dominar but uh, i guess it should be easily maneuverable in the city because it does not have any wide body wide tank like the 600i or the trk as of now so uh, i guess the maneuverability in the city as well as in traffic conditions it should be really nice to handle it will be easy to maneuver around and you know go out from the gaps and all the handlebar is wide but i guess that should be manageable at the front end so it should not be a much of a hindrance overall nice it seems to be a nice package to for touring too the disc at the rear is a 260 mm which is i guess uh, similar to what we get or what we see on the 600i etc it's a single disc with a single piston and it's a floating caliper it also gets a tubular swing arm at the rear you can see both the tubes running up and you can lift the bike with bobbins provided rather than you know your paddock lifting with the lifting the swing arm directly i really prefer this part where you know paddocks can lift the bike with these bobbins than directly touching the swing arm you can always change the bobbins if the color is lost and all i really like both the rider and pillion footrests both get uh, rubbers on top which you know is going to give a good amount of comfort less vibes to the rider as well as pillion i guess we have seen similar ones on the trk i don't recall but maybe similar and you don't get the sari guard as of now on this bike you know usually what we see for is required for registration it is missing as of now on this the ground clearance on paper is 145 mm for the lowermost part of the bike which i guess could be one of the silencer bottoms or the engine oil sump bay now whether it hits the bumps or not we can only come to know after a quick test ride which will come in the next video soon the front brake lever on this bike is again adjustable four step adjustable the clutch one is not like all benelli's and you get a small visor you can probably change the visor and put a new one it's got uh, easy mounts which you can change this mount looks really strong the four bolts can be removed and you know an aftermarket touring visor can be installed for touring purposes the wheels both front and rear are 17 inches we get the 120 by 70 up front and 160 by 60 at the rear tires are pirelli angel st which are usually seen on all the benelli's except for the benelli 250 which had the metzelos but otherwise these pirellis have proven really well for indian conditions we get a small safety feature here a reflector on the front suspension so which is good for people you know who are going to tour the exhaust it is in three pieces it's a uh, slip on at two locations so probably you know aftermarket can be installed too for better sound and coming to the engine protection or the frame protection we can easily install a slider from this location you must have seen a similar chassis setup for benelli tnt 250 so probably you could use similar sliders from there and here's the benelli lion logo by the way leon chino stands for lions cup and that's where they i guess put up the lion up front from the benelli logo on the mudguard the mudguard itself is quite uh, small short as per scrambler design i mean it should serve the purpose for uh, as a scrambler it should serve the purpose for touring we can add a bigger one one good feature from the company side is that the leoncino 2 gets the 
five years unlimited warranty and the service interval is also like 6000 kilometers or six months whichever occurs earlier so i guess both are like plus points i almost forgot to speak about the keys now benelli is known for flip keys that they give for their bikes in the 600i i've got a single flip key and dual normal keys whereas in the leo we get dual set of flip keys and even the name is imprinted on the key so a big thumbs up on this part let me give you a brief uh, you know, clip on how the exhaust mode is so this is at idling rpm must be 1500 or 1750 approximately this is the sound it's got double end pipes out here the sound is similar to your 300 or 502 the engine runs uh, linear it is not that peppy but you know it will be uh, it will give you a linear power output for your uh, touring purpose. So that almost uh, gets us now to the end of the video. Uh, let me summarize. Overall, it's a nice package with a uh, 500cc engine. Good for touring purpose also. Fit and finish is really nice. No large gaps in, seen anywhere. No unfinished parts. No quite premium. Seats are comfortable too, like I said previously. They feel a lot upmarket. So... Uh, at the price point of uh, approximately 5,60,000 on road, I'll share the price in the description. Do have a look at that. Uh, it's a really nice package to be picked up for. And uh, if you guys, you know, if I've missed any point and if you have any question, questions regarding the two bikes, you can let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer them at the earliest. I can get feedback and answers from the showroom itself or from the company. I've got good contacts both places. And uh, yeah, a big thank you to AB Automotive for, you know, allowing me to shoot the two bikes. I've spent quite a lot of time here, I mean, shooting the two bikes. So big thank you to them. And I leave a link to their showroom location. If you're from Pune, you can come and visit and take a look at both the bikes and also have a test ride too. So thank you guys. Do hit the like button, share it ahead and do subscribe.